Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Sherry. And my name is Edward. And we're two interns at Startup EDR. And today, we're going to take you with us to the final event of Startup EDR. Dream big, go cross-border. Taking place in Lingen. Let's go! Thank you so much for being here, Patricia. My question for you is, what are your expectations for today? Oh, I hope today is going to be filled with people uh, and listen to uh, with students, with entrepreneurs, and we're going to listen to inspirational talks uh, with uh, successful entrepreneurs that tell about their journey and what they did wrong and what they should do better. Uh, yeah, and networking, just connecting cross border. Yeah. Definitely. Well, looking forward to it. Yeah, Thank you so much, Stephanie, for coming today. My question for you is, what do you expect from today? Uh, some new opening minds what cross-border actually means. Because for me, cross-border is not only the idea of national borders, but borders in our minds. So, some mind-blowing, mind-opening new ideas how we can change the world together. Well, that sounds very nice. Let's hope that that comes through today. I hope so, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hi, Regina. Hi, um, My question to you is, what is your motivation to attend this meeting today? Uh, last year, I also uh, started a startup, a uh, fair fashion and size inclusive startup, Onai. Yep. And uh, yeah, I'm working since last year with the Mayor Community Center in Emden. Mm -hmm. And they supported me and uh, told me about this event. And yeah, now I'm here. Yeah, nice. <laughs> to get that thing rolling that is on your mind is to network. And we have plenty of time for such. Yeah, I'm uh, Kasper. Uh, 20 years old and uh, co-founder of Jobbers, a platform uh, which started from uh, my own experience of uh, working abroad. So I decided to join the uh, breakout room for startups. We will have a speaker of join and the owner of Tap. So you guys, now everyone went into breakout rooms. I chose the breakout room, How Green Is Your Business Model with Kai Bruns and Stefanie Bergmann. Background story, I came here with my class as well. I understood Stephanie brought her class. So welcome from Oldenburg. Um, I brought my class as well and I told them kindly, really, you don't have to come to my session, right? You can go to others. None of my students is here, right? <laughs> I hope that is not a precursor of, oh, well, or an assessment of the quality of the workshops that I do. But um, I'm glad that you are here. I'm glad that we have quite a diverse crowd here to, to look into the topic. As a warm-up exercise, Kai will let us play okay, rock, paper, scissors in order to memorize our names and get to know each other. So nice to have you here, Shaurab. How is it going until now? Yeah, the weather is nice and the weather inside about the sustainability is also great. <laughs> Everyone has a growth mindset and like-minded people are together. So it feels great. Amazing, amazing. Hope we're keeping going like this. I'm Julius and as you may um, see, um, I have Dutch uh, last name and I'm also half Dutch, but I have to disappoint you. I don't speak a word of Dutch because uh, my father was a bit sloppy on uh, education right there, and it's always the most embarrassing moment uh, when I have to go to the Dutch embassy every 10 years to get my new passport. Hi Kai, thank you so much for the amazing workshop. My question for you is, what inspired you most today? Well, that is a very good question. Um, most um, inspired me, well, there were so many things, right? But I think Julius, who spoke after after yeah. the lunch break, who, who actually funded, uh, well, established his first business when he was like 16 or thought about this, and, and then 
pivoted, right? Had the Corona crisis, I mean, at a very young age, and then pivoted and came up with Crescent Chat. Uh, such a lovely ag, uh, app. I think that was super inspiring. Yeah, indeed. It's amazing. Thank you so much for coming today, Anna. What was your favorite part of today? Um, I really liked seeing how everyone kind of came together and how, how people are talking to each other. Um, obviously, this is the whole idea of this gathering is networking, yeah. right? But it can be a little bit difficult. The way that they organized it was it really gave a lot of space for people to actually talk to each other. And I think that was my favorite part to meet, meet new people and see my students mingle and talk to other entrepreneurs as well. So your expectations were met? I think so, yeah, definitely. I mean, we still have to have the, the after party at this point, yes. so I'm kind of looking forward to that as well. But um, yeah, my expectations were definitely met. Lovely. Thank you so much for coming. Yep. Hi, I'm staying here with Yelma. Yes. And we arrived at the end of this uh, event today. And I would like to ask you, how was it for you today? Yeah, uh, we heard a lot of inspiring stories, uh, spoke to a lot of yep. people in the region. Uh, it's pretty cool to see how many people from both Germany and the Netherlands were here today. Um, the speakers had some inspiring stories. Mm -hmm. uh, we we were, were in, uh, how do you say that, breakup rooms. Yep. Uh, for uh, We were there for the ecosystem. Uh, interesting to meet people from Germany who yep. uh, uh, try to make their ecosystem better mm -hmm. and ours and how we can learn from each other. Uh, and just very cool to meet so many people here who care about uh, the region and go cross-border to do it. Yes, did you hear it? So <laughs> next time you have to attend the meeting or event as well. So now we arrive at the end of this event and we would like to ask you now, what are your final thoughts? I think that dream big is something people already live. They don't have big dreams in their minds. They start to really realize those. So cross-border activities doesn't really think of just crossing borders and ideas of countries, but they're really cross-borders and things of mindset. So there's something big going on here. So stay yeah. tuned. Thank you. What are your final thoughts after this event? The thing I was also discussing this with, uh, with the friends that I came here with is that currently I'm working as a, a freelancer. I'm doing projects by myself. Before this I ran a non-profit which was very much a human enterprise. So yep. we had a big team with many, many people. And today I was asking myself the question, do I want to go forward as a freelancer or yep. do I want to maybe think bigger and really start like a startup or get involved with a startup that's not yep. just me doing one thing, but it's really building a product. So, so I think that's the right a, event for you today. Yes, yes. It's something I'm going to meditate on. I don't know the answer yet, but it gives me some, uh, some food for thought. We have now come to the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it.